waters that have stayed up late, navigating my fear by starlight. It's been a rough year. Waters are choppy. My compass hand swings side to side with each magnetic disturbance of the pit in my belly called lust. And I am plainly unsure of which way to turn. It's the first night in a year I've stayed locked in my cabin drawing treaties with a man. Spouting insecurities I meant to keep to myself because fear isn't sexy. Being needed, turns out, isn't sexy. And everyone likes the person who doesn't need them, which is why I like you, which is why I need you. Right? Tonight I stayed up, counting blue fists of stars, trying to find my way back home, but my navigation one thing, and our home has drifted to in the wake of the monsters pushing at her edges. Well, that's another. I'm sailing through the space that goes off the map, every day missing that sweet Babylon shore full of prostitutes and libraries called college, and giving the oracle the middle finger for not warning me better about how treacherous men are, and how I will love and love and love them and stand still of loving more than one at once. Most nights I sleep in the bed of a sailor who loves me, but tonight I stayed up, lonely as the kettle half filled with water when all the teacups are drunk, lonely as the scrimshaw ribs of the beach whale, lonely as a knife fight with no one there to see it, lonely as the planks to make the bed wider, stacked in a corner. I have beached my body on many shores, but no matter how many sandy heads of hair or jagged hips, I splinter my only way out on, it never gets easier. Because when you have been told so long that you deserve better by the very men unwilling to give it to you, you learn to explore your own skin. Mm. Instead of reading the entrails of each gutted ocean creature, there are plenty of fish in the sea. <coughs> but on my boat, they gasp and die. They have never been in an ark built to house one lonesome wanderer from the rain, and they can live in my aquarium, but they can never get in the walls, never swim in the ribs of this body. Anyone uh. who gets inside me is ultimately a guest. But welcome, dear guests, to this house on the water, this body, let's drink the ocean to taste the current and hope that it will be enough to poison us or fuel our way home, sweet home.